Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'll be explaining the concept of freedom and responsibility in ethics or in moral philosophy. So what is freedom? Many people think that freedom is doing whatever you want, the ability to choose right from wrong. But that is not what true freedom is. True freedom is the ability to choose the good only and to reject evil. So freedom, our freedom, is actually the capacity to do what is right, not what is wrong. You are never free when you do evil. The moment you do evil, you are enslaved by evil. And you cannot escape the accountability or the culpability of your action, the punishment or the consequences of the evil deeds. That is why doing evil will never be free. Besides, doing a moral act requires two very important principles and faculties. We have the will and the intellect. The will and the intellect are spiritual faculties of a rational being, the rational animal man or the human being. The objective of the will, the goal of the will, is to choose or possess the good. And the will cannot possess or choose the good if the intellect does not know the good. The intellect, the goal and the object of the intellect is to know the good as truth. So it is the intellect that tells the will that, is, that this is the good thing or the good entity to be chosen. So without the intellect, the will is blind. So the intellect has to inform the will for the will to choose the good. Without the intellect telling the will that this is the good, the intellect or rather the will will not be able to choose the real good. It will be misled and will choose the apparent good or the lesser good not the good in itself or the higher goods. So we choose good because it's the right thing. And evil has to be rejected because by itself, evil cannot be the object of the intellect and the will. So the question is, why do we commit evil? It's because of our human nature. We have an imperfect human nature. We have a broken human nature, a frail human nature because of the sin of our first parents. So we have to admit that the human being has an imperfect nature. And because of this imperfection, especially ignorance, of course, we are not able to truly discern the real good. So most of the time, we choose the apparent good, the lesser good, than the good itself or the higher goods. So that explains why human beings err or make mistakes or commit evil and sin. But with the help of God's grace, and of course, uh, man's natural capacity to do good, the human being can, can actually perfect himself. So it's not something impossible to do. It is something that can be achieved through education, through habit or constant practice, plus the grace of God. So with these elements, with these factors, man can actually become holy, become sacred, and become virtuous. So that's what freedom is. Freedom is the ability of the will with the help of the intellect to choose the good and the good only. Choosing evil is not freedom because evil will enslave us. It will chain us and bind us. And of course, the consequences of evil will always hunt us. The guilt, the shame, and of course, the punishment of sin will, will not make us free. Now, what is responsibility? I equate responsibility with freedom because our responsibility as human beings and rational beings with the capacity to know the good and choose the good is to do good. So that's what our responsibility is all about. Doing evil is a failure of responsibility. It's a failure of the will and reason to choose what is right, what is supposed to be chosen. So that makes rational beings or animals different from other organisms because it has the capacity to discern, to know what is right, and to choose the right despite the odds. So that's what we call freedom and responsibility in ethics. Thank you for watching and listening. Please click like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and be updated with the next episode.